Hello, this is Ron Hatton, also known as Gadget Man of GadgetManscoolCarMods.com. And we're here today to answer one simple question. Will this work on throttle body injected systems? The answer, once again, is an absolutely yes. Um, and in about two weeks, you'll be able to write John Lynch of New Jersey about this, which is the throttle body off of his throttle body injected late 80s model uh, Chevy. I'm not sure exactly what the year making model is because John didn't send it to me and I forgot to ask. So therefore, there you have it. In any event, this is his throttle body. Let me turn it a little slowly so you can see that the outside wasn't necessarily all that clean. But John did a magnificent job of cleaning the important areas, which is inside the throttle body. Can you see that? Now, this one here has been modified. I'm going to roll it slowly around here so that it doesn't blur with the camera resolution. And you see that it's been done. Now, you may notice that there is some scuffing. I don't know if it's going to show up on this side. It will on the other side. Um, that you'll see the scuffing there at the bottom. Let me get in a little closer there. Can you see uh, at the bottom how the, the scuff marks are on the uh, throttle plate? That's because of the specialized cutting bits that I use. Uh, you see these grooves that go in there are aerodynamically designed to cause a special pressure wave in the intake system. And the instant that these plates open up, what you get is you get an increase in the size of the pressure wave. Now, when you think of an increase in pressure, you've got to remember that there's uh, the, the same amount of air is going into your engine. So a high pressure area in one side means an extremely low pressure area in the other side. And that low pressure area is really what we're looking for. So what this groove does is it concentrates most of the air into one small area around the outside edge, just like a, a, a hula hoop or a donut. And then the pressure wave passes passes through it, but since the air is condensed around the outside edge, it's pulling it from the inside, giving you a much lower pressure running down the center of your intake, which then when it comes in contact with your fuel, causes the fuel to vaporize. Folks, it really is truly simple, and uh, I, I feel uniquely blessed to be the one chosen to present this technology to you and to the world. Uh, currently have seven teams all over the world doing this, and I hate to say it, and I love to say it at the same time. Uh, the modifications in South Africa and also in Australia that are taking place are getting a lot better results than we are here in the United States. Uh, that's because, well, we've got the crappiest gas in the world. They actually add stuff, or so I'm told, to our fuel uh, to cause it uh, to uh, be harder to burn so we get less economy out of it. I uh, met a man who works at a refinery in Houston, and occasionally he has to drive from Houston all the way over to San Diego, California. Well, it's funny that uh, when he puts the gas in his truck in San Diego, that he can, he drives one tank full of gas. I mean, when he drives, fills up in Houston, excuse me, and drives all the way to San Diego, well, it uses one tank full of fuel. When he fills up in San Diego and tries to drive home, however, it takes four tankfuls of gas. Same truck, same thing every single time he does it. You tell me how come that's happening. Because the only answer is that they're adding stuff to it to cause us to burn more gasoline. Well, this is not a 100% answer. This is not going to get you five or ten times the gas mileage, but it certainly puts a hell of a dent in it. And you can certainly expect to get 20% or better gas mileage out of your car, uh, although I can't guarantee it. I'd like to see it, as I'm sure you would too. So on that note, I'm going to close off. I'm going to recommend that you guys uh, go to a different website that I've got called coolcarmods.wordpress.com that uh, is a blog site set up just for my for my people to register their comments. Unfortunately, right now there are no pictures, and if anybody out there can tell me how to get pictures into the WordPress blog, I'd really be grateful because my customers are wanting to post their smiley faces, and you know, I you know, I, you can only expect so much from me.
And so anyway, give me uh, give me a message at uh, gadgetman at gadgetmantechnologies.com. I'll answer any question that I can from all comers as long as I can. Uh, right now uh, we're doing a two-day turnaround. It's uh, it's the most cost-effective modification on the market uh, that gives you, well, gives you the results. It works, and it works, and it works. So on that note, I'll say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are helping me to change the planet one vehicle and one person at a time. God bless you wherever you are, and remember to smile for a stranger today. Bye-bye.